Hey everybody, welcome to another Adobe Illustrator CS6 tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be pretty sweet and I think you guys are going to like it a lot. We're going to learn how to use the image tracer to uh, trace raster graphics. And what it does is it takes a raster image, something like a JPEG, a TIFF, or a PSD file, and it'll take a look at it, analyze it, and then create a ve uh, vector out of it for you. So you can take an image like this, like these ducks flying around, and change it into a vector that looks like this. And I'll show you how to do that. And all this right here is a vector created by image tracing from this image right here. So let's go ahead and start out and figure out what we can do. So I'm gonna back up a few times and see if I can get back to where I was where I didn't have anything. Okay, so I, I've got this image open. So I went to File, Open, and I just picked the image here, and I picked um, ducks in, a, in, a sky, in the sky. And I picked this because it'd be easiest to show you and one of the faster analyzing at this because when you do the image trace, it takes uh, a little bit. So the background is basically all the same color, a blue sky. It definitely has different variations, but it's not, not a whole lot of hard uh, color changes. So I did that for that. And then you, I also picked these uh, ducks because they have different shades of colors within them and also have very contrasting colors on them as well, such as the oranges and greens. And I wanted to show you how well that the image trace could work on this. So what you're going to do is make sure you have your raster object uh, selected. And then right here where it says image trace, we're going to start out with the presets. Go over here to the right and click on here on the tracing presets. And then we've got a bunch of a bunch of them here that we can check out. Well, I'm going to do low fidelity photo right now. And then this will pop up. Tracing may proceed slowly with this large image. Would you like to continue? And and then it says a note here to reduce the image size, rasterize to a lower resolution using object rasterize. So I'm going to show you that real quick. And cancel. Then we're going to go to object and we're going to go to rasterize, which is up here in the middle. And then what they want me to do is change the resolution. So they wanted me to do something like put it down to 72 PPI. Um, you could do that if you wanted to, but it doesn't really take a whole lot of time to image trace this. So I'm just going to hit cancel and leave it at what it is. By the way, PPI is uh, pixels per inch. All right, let's go to, oh yeah, let's image trace this again. I'm just going to click on low fidelity photo for now. And I'm going to hit OK. And then a status progress bar is going to start coming up. And it's going to look at what's going on and analyze it. And then start applying different um, effects to the image. And use those effects to make it um, easier to image trace. And then it's going to create the paths and add the coloring in there for you. So we're going to let this progress bar go up, up, across. The last time I did this, it actually went a little bit faster. I'm getting the uh, uh, spinning wheel of death here, and then the top says not responding. So I'm gonna end up. I'm just gonna pause this, and then when it's all getting close to done, I'll unpause it. So it pretty much picked up r r immediately after, and then um, now it's doing it's smoothing. And it was creating paths, and now it's smoothing out the paths so we don't have a lot of points. And this is one of the most sought after methods in this um, in uh, Illustrator. So here we go. We've got our different our different paths. Um, if I go up here to view, we're able to see our different um, views. So we've got tracing with outlines. So it traced all the birds, and even this time, it um, tried to outline the sky and add variation color to the sky. We've got our outline so we can see where all the paths are. There's a whole lot of them it made. That's why it took a little bit of a long time. Outlines with our source image. 
So this is what we started out with, and this is what it used. And then we've got source image. And so we went from this to this, just using the low fidelity photo. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do another Im a different image trace. This time using something else so you can see a little bit different. I'm going to go to this one that says sketch to art. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm going to, while this is doing its uh, thing, I'm just going to hit pause and I'm going to show you the end result. So this is the end result for this one. And you can see you've got kind of an artistic look going on here. And let's check out the outlines. Here's what we've got for the outlines. It's uh, missing some of the pieces of the duck. So unless I was going for some kind of look like this where I, where I wanted uh, black and white, then um, I would use this, but obviously not for trying to like portray the colors and everything like that that I was talking about earlier. Obviously, this wasn't the type that I wanted. And if I wanted to really preserve the colors and stuff like that, I would go with, uh, let me back up. I would go with something like high fidelity photo. But I don't want it to take forever when I'm showing you guys. So um, that's a, yeah. Now, I, now that I think about it, that's pretty much it for this part of the tutorial. We'll end here and then we'll keep on going and learning more about the... Uh, about the uh, image trace and how we can refine it and everything like that to our likings. That way we aren't just stuck with the presets, but we can use other things as well to help finely tune and make our Illustrator product a lot better. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial about image tracing. See you guys later.